Patrick Kilty is here now. It's so good to see you. Good to see you. It's been far too long. It's been far too long. It's a very interesting one, this, isn't it, debate? Well, it's a good idea. It's a nice little idea because mm. people like watching celebrities think they know stuff and they don't. Yeah. I, I think that's kind of it, really, isn't <laughs> There's it? There's a satisfaction there. But yeah. also what I think is really good is you get really interesting stories from mm. them that you might not otherwise get. You know, well, well, what was weird was there was a, a question that we had um, and Esther Ranson... Uh, suddenly revealed <laughs> that, she? that she quite liked to run around her own garden with just a hat on. Just a hat on. Yeah. So when can we see this? When is it back? This is on, uh, starts next Monday, 6.30, right, BBC Two. Excellent. For the next, I think, six, seven weeks. Oh, that's brilliant. So you yeah. can just, you basically just hop over here for when work happens and then you hop back to the United States of America. Or how does it work? Basically what I do now that we have a small child is I pretend I've got work, Lorraine. That's do what happens. Just so I can be in a long haul flight <laughs> on my own right so get some uh, sleep yeah and and then what we do is uh, you know i come i come on shows like this to sort of right. prove that, that i've actually you, that i've, that I've been have here done it. No, I understand. and so just to be on a long haul flight with four gin and tonics and a disney movie have a little cry and a sleep that's it that's the battery I mean, that, to recharge. That's, that's bliss. But how is how is life? Life must be life good. Life is really good. Life I know, is good. We saw, we saw on Saturday, Cat was over, talking to Anton Deck. Yes. And it looks like maybe they might do some more stuff together. There, There's Cat with her with her first husband. Yes. Um, <laughs> people actually think that they that she was married to both of them. I think they do. And they all live together as well. Yes. Be, because when uh, SMTV was on, they, they, they kind of looked like they did spend every moment with one another. But what's really weird is that when you actually look back at stuff and you know you realise you're getting old because you look at SMTV and you think, you know, that was very current. They were just kids. The babies. They were just I loved they it. were just babies. Absolutely loved it. My daughter was was of the age that we used to sit and watch it on a Saturday mm. and it was just brilliant. So they I think they might be doing a reunion. I don't know. That would be really good. Mm. That would be really good. But you have to come over here to see all the relatives as well. You would get into trouble. Well now this is the thing you see, because the mammy and the granny they need to see him, you see. Well they do. Now and tell me now, Patrick, would you be bringing that child home for Easter? <laughs> well mommy, I'm I'm coming over now, I'm gonna do Lorraine. Well would now would you not bring him over? Mm. And so, you know, you have to you have to keep uh -huh. everybody happy. Of course you do, and that's really, really important for mm. the mammies That's for the <laughs> yes. that is it you know you're you're caught between your child and your mammy you have to actually it's the thing isn't it you suddenly realize that whenever you get married that, that you're just you know you, you you get married you're number one you have a, a child you're number two you have a dog you're number three Absolutely. so basically just spend your life going just, down the pecking order just going down the pecking order yeah. and and basically just doing what you're told oh it's great but do you like life in the in america is it is it good fun it, it's quite good fun i mean I, is there a wee sort of group of you all of, of sort of Brits and Irish all together. Well, there's more and more of them over there now. Yeah. You know, I'm more and more hanging out. Like, I'm not more. I'm not really a green juice man. I'm more. I'm more a black juice man. I, yeah. I still have my cans of Guinness in the fridge. Good man. And and the the problem is though that you can't really go out and have a drink in LA. You know, because if you have a drink in LA, if you have more than three drinks... Oh, they think you're a regional Oh, I know. Oh, they do. Whereas if you're Scottish or Irish, I mean, that's... that's you're, just, just, you're just getting started. You're just starting the night. <laughs> exactly. They go, Patrick, we really need to talk about <laughs> your, your drinking. I'm going, you're right. <laughs> That's empty. <laughs> Fill it up. It's true. I, went, I once went to a party out there and everything stopped at midnight. They literally pulled the plug. Yeah. I've never seen that in my life. I mean, it's and like... we were roaming the streets trying to find booze. But, but, was what, but what was funny was that you go over there and you actually, you know, uh, you're trying to book a table. And so we would go out about, you know, 8.30. You'd think yeah. that's the time to go out. And so I was trying to book a fancy restaurant and I got a table and I thought, oh, I've made it. I've got a table <laughs> in this fancy restaurant. But they all ate at six o'clock. So oh, by, the time, by the time, by the time half, Eight. I mean, it's just the it's just the dregs <laughs> that get a table. At so they're all doing the early bird special. They're all doing the early bird special. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, for a fiver. Oh, for goodness sake! Are you going to do some more stand up? Are you going to do some more? I am like? going to do. Should, you know? I am going to do more stand up. I did a, a stand up tour last year. I did. Uh, I think it was seventy dates last yeah. year. I'm writing a new show now. That'll be out next year. So, ah. so there's there's plenty between um, between babies and. And an American son and Donald Trump, there's plenty of stuff to talk about. Oh, there certainly is. Oh, there's no shortage of uh, there's no, no shortage, of, shortage material of material at all. And you two, I think you and Kat were meant to be, weren't you? It was just, I know you worked together on Fame Academy a long, long time ago, yeah. but you were kind of meant to be. I, I broke the rule of don't get your money where you get your honey. That's, right. That's kind of... I was told that, never get your honey where you get your money, but we, we went there. And uh, what's good about it is, is that whenever, you, whenever you're with someone that is a mate to start with, yeah. then there's a shorthand there and you don't have to go through that whole, 
awkward dating. I know. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Oh my god. Oh my god. Your <laughs> eyes are beautiful. <laughs> no. They, no. So we, did, we no, didn't have to didn't do have that. didn't have to do that. So, it's you great. know, just crack on. Oh, it's great. And look, we'll see you in Debatable for a long, long time now. Yes. For a few weeks. Starting on Monday, as you said. Starting on Monday. Great. And if we can pretend that I've got some more work to actually come back to get a bit right. more sleep on the flight, if you could sort of organise that for I me. I will organise that. And then I'll just tell the wife that I'm really busy. <laughs> Kip, exactly. straight back, kip again. And you need to bring that child back across to see his, to see his granny or you're you in see, big trouble. You, you're stirring now, No, Marie, but you have stirring. to, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. That's the rules. Okay, we'll that have him back rules. the next time. <laughs> Thank you, it's good Thank to you. see you. Good Thank you so much.